Breaking Bad and Better Call, Saul Starr. Mark Margolis passed away at Men's Sinai Hospital in New York City on Thursday at the age of 83. Mark Margolis, who was the beloved actor behind iconic roles in Breaking Bad, Scarface, and Better Call Saul, has tragically died on Thursday. The Emmy-nominated star's death was confirmed by his son, Morgan Margolis, who revealed the actor had died at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. The Hollywood star had reportedly been suffering from an undisclosed illness shortly before his tragic death. Morgan, as well as Mark's wife of 61 years, Jacqueline were both reportedly at his bedside on Thursday. The actor also leaves behind his three grandsons, Ben, Aiden, and Henry, as well as his brother, Jerome. The journeyman actor was known for a variety of roles in hit TV shows, most notably as vindictive drug runner Hector Salamanca on both Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul series. This role dominated the later decades of Mark's career as he first made his debut as Hector in 2009 on the second season of Breaking Bad. His brass character quickly won over fans and culminated in an Emmy Award nomination for the actor in 2012. Mark later revealed his portrayal of the wheelchair-bound Hector had been inspired by his mother-in-law, explaining that she'd suffered a stroke and couldn't speak, but would still try show her excitement by doing these contortions with her face, which he used for the character. In 2016, when Mark turned back the clock on his character in Better Call Saul, in 2016 playing Hector before the drug runner became paralyzed, the actor revealed he was only ever meant to be in a single episode of Breaking Bad. Much of Mark's acting career had a similar sense of defying the odds as the Hollywood star was born into a working-class family in Philadelphia in 1939, where his mother worked as a decorator for a wallpaper company and his father was a factory worker. He began taking acting classes at the age of 14 and abruptly moved to New York after his first year at university to study under the legendary acting coach Stella Adler at the iconic Actors Studio. Mark worked as Stella's personal assistant for three years in exchange for the acting classes and admitted that he had a real fixation with her despite their 40-year age gap, explaining to The Observer in 2012, that's what a turn-on she was. The budding star was making some headway in the theater industry and later even studied under Stella's arch-rival, Lee Strasberg, before his financial state forced him to move away from acting. For some time, Mark worked as a coffeehouse manager before finally making his on-screen debut in 1976's X-rated flick, The Opening of Misty Beethoven. The actor began collecting a myriad of small roles in films over the next decade, including landing the role of Alberto in Scarface, coming face-to-face -face with Al Pacino on screen. However, Mark was still struggling to make ends meet and admitted that just months after his Scarface appearance, he had to take a real estate job. His true rise to success started in the later 1980, as series regular surveillance expert Jimmy on CBS drama The Equalizer.